Hola amigos, welcome back to my Tomli tutorials on algebra. In the last lesson, we are talking about the combinations of functions. And in this lesson, I will teach you about the composites of functions. So we have to define what is the composites of a function. Let's see this PowerPoint slide. The composites of a function in Chinese, folk hap ham so. In here, we define the composites of a function. The function composition is an operation that takes two functions, function g and function f, and produce a function j, such that the function j of x is equal to the function f with the results of function g x. And we denote the composites of function f of g by this symbol here. In this operation, the function f is applied to the results of the function of g to x. That is, in a function, function g, x, map to in domain y, and then we use this y as an input, put it in the function f, and we got the composition of function f to g. We denote this in here, function g of x provide the results, and then we put the results into the function f, and get z in the domain. Let's try an example. Composition of function. For example, we have function f of x equal to x plus 2. And function g of x equal to 2x squared minus 4. Then, fx composites of gx will rise in this form. fx is the result. And then we put these results into the function g. Get the final answer. So g composites of fx equal to g x plus 2 because function f is x plus 2. So g x plus 2. We substitute this x plus 2 into the g of x function. We get this function result. We put x plus 2 into x. We get 2 x plus 2 squared minus 4. x plus 2 squared. We multiply it out. x squared plus 4 x plus 4, multiply by 2, and then minus by 4. So we get 2x squared plus 8x plus 8 minus 4. The result is 2x squared plus 8x plus 4. An exercise for you to do. If we have a function x equal x squared plus 2, and gx equal to 2x squared minus 3 plus 4, and then we find the uh, f composites of g, g composites of f, g of 2, f composites of g of 2, f of 2, and g composites f of 2. Now prepare your paper and pencil or pen. Question 1, we have function of x equal to x squared plus 2, function of g equal to 2x squared minus 3 plus 4. And now we find the composites of function f Composites of g of x. We write it down here. F composites of g of x equal to f. And g of x is equal to 2x squared minus 3x plus 4. So it's equal to equal to 2 x squared minus 3x plus 4 squared plus 2. And then we write down here, we expect this into 2, 2x squared minus 3 plus 4, 2x squared minus 3x plus 4, and then plus 2 as well. 2x squared multiplied by 2x squared, we got 4x to the power 4. 2x squared multiplied by minus 3x, we got minus 6x squared. And then we got 8x squared minus 6x squared plus 9x squared minus 12x plus 8x squared. This one is 4 times 3 minus 12x, 4 times 4 plus 16 plus 2. 
and then we rise 4 to the x power of 4. We got the term x cubed minus 6x cubed. Then it's got minus 12x cubed. x squared plus 9x squared, 17x squared plus x squared. 25 x squared plus 25 x squared and then minus 12 minus 12 minus 24 x and then plus 18. So this is the answer of the composite of f g of x. And then the second one is g composite of f x. We write down g f of x equal to g f of x is x squared plus 2 and then equal to 2 times x squared plus 2 to the square and minus 3 x squared plus 2 plus 4. Okay, and then we multiply it out. We got x squared x to the 4 plus 4 x squared plus 4 minus 3 x square minus 6 plus 4. So we got 2 to the power of 4 plus 8 to the powers of 2 plus 8 minus 3 powers x minus 3 x square minus 6 plus 4. And we got 2 x to the power of 4 plus 8 power of 2 minus 3 x power of 2 plus 5 x square plus 8, plus 4, and minus 6, 12, minus 6, plus 6. So the G composite of Fx equal to 2 to the x4 plus 5 squared plus 6. So you can see here, these two answers is different. If we put the F of composite of G or G composite of X, the answer will be different. And now we go down here, we get the first question. What is the g of 2? g of 2 is equal to, we put it 2 and we put it 2 into the x of the g function, minus 3 times 2 plus 4. And get, we got 2 times 4 is 8, minus 6 plus 4. This is 12 minus 6, the answer is 6. So this answer is a constant, it's a number. And then we also find the fourth question, f of g to the 2, so f of 6, and we substitute this 6 into the this function f of x, and we got 6 to the power 2 plus 2, 36 plus 2, 48. So it be 48, right? So we got the Question 4, answer of the question 4 is this. And then the question 5, what is the f of 2? The f of 2 is equal to, we substitute 2 into the x square. We got 2 to the power 2 plus 2, 4 plus 2 is 6. And how about the question number 6? What is the g composite of f of 2 equal to g of 6 and we substitute this 6 into the g function into this g function of x we got 2 to the 6 power 2 minus 3 times 6 plus 4 and we get 36 times 2 is 72 minus 18 plus 4 so it's 76 minus 18. So we got 60, 58. The answer is 58. So we get all the answer, the question 5, question 6, also question 4, question 3, question 2, and the answer of question 1 as well. So this is how we calculate the composite function of these two functions. f of x equal to x squared plus 2 and g of x equal to x squared 
minus 3x plus 4. And we also have a pedagogical examples of why we have to do the composites of this function. Okay, we have either example tools of the composites function. We got a function fx equal to 4x, function of gx equal to 3x minus 2, and function of hx equal to 8 to the x squared minus 3x. We want to find four composites of function. What is the f composites of g and composites of h of x? And the second question, h composites of g, composites of f of x. And number three, f composites of h, composites of g of x. Finally, g composites of h, composites of f of x. Let's do it on a paper. So now prepare. So now prepare a piece of paper and a pencil or pen. Okay, in this exercise, we have a fun three function, f of x equal to 4x, g of x equal to 3x minus 2, and h of x equal to 8 squared minus 3x. In A, we want to find out what is the answers of f composites of g and composites of h of x. I In here, we got a, b, c, d, four questions, but I only do the a for you. And then the B, C, D, you do it yourself. So let's try. F of G of X. We write down here. F composites of G, composites of H, of X. So it's equal to F composites of G and H of X equal to X squared, 8X squared minus 3X. X, x squared minus 3x and then we substitute 8x squared minus 3x into the function of g we got f of 3 times x squared minus 3x minus 2 and we get 3 times x 24x squared minus 9x minus 2. We substitute 24x squared minus 9x minus 2 into the function of f. And we get 4 times 24x squared minus 9x minus 2 times 4. So 4 times 24 is 96x squared minus 36x minus 8 is the answer of F composites of G and composites of HX function. And also, uh, with this logic, you can calculate question B, question C, and question D as well. Good luck. Try it yourself. Finally, we have a pedagogical question of why we have to do the composites of function. Let us do the example. For example, if Tom pounds some tomato, the function below gives the amounts of use of tomato T in kilogram. If he plants tomatoes on X acres of land in three months, he will get the use of how many kilograms of tomato? Function of T in terms of X equal to 225 X minus 30. That's what it means. This means if Tom plants on two acres of land, the use of tomato in three months would be we substitute two acres into this t function. We got 250 times 2 minus 30 and 470 kilogram of tomato will be used in four months. And now he knows that the land is cost $1,000 per acres of land. This M is the money. So we got another function of acres in terms of money, in terms of M. Is the a function of m equal to m divided by 1,000. That means if he, he has $2,000, he can buy two acres of land. And he can plant the tomatoes on two acres of land. So how many kilograms of tomato if Tom now has $4,750? You, 
we use this logic, we calculate another function called p. p is the profit. p is the yield of the tomatoes in kilogram if m is the money of Tom hands. Now we got um, p of m is equal to t composite of a of m. So m is the amount of money and pm is the use of the tomatoes in terms of kilogram of the three months if Tom has some amounts of money. Substitute the amounts of money and we use this p function to get the use of Tom if Tom has some amounts of money. So we use this composite function to get the answer. That is why we have to use the composite of function. So now you try it yourself to calculate how many kilograms of tomatoes Tom will yield if Tom has $4,750. I will give you an answer in the next lesson. Thank you for your listening. Adios. Hasta luego. See you next time. Bye-bye.